This unit has 1.2 million acres and we're looking for about 10 or 15 mature rams on 1.2 million acres. So sometimes you have to walk, Gary. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm doing the math on that. I mean, 1.2 million acres on a dozen mature rams. Okay, so you carry the nine. Oh, we got a good chance if we don't go anywhere and just stay right here. I like our odds. Sheep are only drawn to really steep, difficult, high country. And that's where we're at. So, unfortunately, they're not going to go to camp. Otherwise, Gary would be there hunting them. Yeah, the reality is sheep hunting is not for the faint of heart, and you need to be in shape. So, as you start to put your uh, put in for your once in a lifetime hunt here in Utah or the state you live in, make sure you're in shape. And uh, if you go with someone like Dennis, who is part billy goat, you need to be in shape. Looking up this canyon about this time of day, they'll be laying in the shade, so we can't come around the corner and jump them. We need to be looking out ahead of us, so when we come around the corner, we can. We see them up in the shadows and we don't scare them before we have a chance to see them. We're gonna move up this side of the canyon. It's narrow, so we're gonna have to be really quiet. We're gonna have to class ahead of us. They're probably laying in the shadows. It's hot. <laughs> For lack of a better term, we just found some sheep poop. Sheep guano. Sheep guano, according to Gary. It's, uh, it's fairly fresh. We're seeing fresh track in here. You know, once again, it's a canyon, it's a gamble, but we are seeing sign and we just gotta get lucky. You guys see anything? Tap on the glass and let us know. Dennis was getting at me for putting sunscreen on in the desert. If you take a look at the, the back of his leather neck, you'll see why. Like it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. We've been out here five days now. Yeah. Oh wait, this is the first day. Are you kidding me? You know what? When he shoots his you, I'm not gonna help him pack her out. He's on his own. If we're that lucky, <gasps> I'll take a you. The good news is that the mind goes before the body. So once the mind's gone, you don't feel any more pain anyway. First thing to go on a sheep hunt's the head. This uh, GPS from Galorum, the PN40, uh, is a great product. I've used their prior product, the PN20, and this one, and uh, it's tremendous. Uh, product for that type of country for any type of hunting. And I'm going to be trying the new PN60W with the spot transponder, so it should be a, a really fun experience. Anytime you're out in the back country, it's really important to have the right safety tools with you. One of the coolest uh, GPSs I've found lately is this um, Earthmate PN60W made by Delorme. It is a phenomenal product. It's coupled with the new spot GPS transponder. So not only do you have a state-of-the-art GPS that is absolutely intuitive to use, but with the spot transponder, I can do a couple of things. One, I get an emergency. I hit the emergency transponder. It transmits my location. If I'm injured out in the back country, I can be found. Even more cool than that is I can actually jump into the features on this GPS. I can text and send text messages, and my family on my Facebook, my Twitter, or my spot page can track my progress from those messages or they can actually follow me real time as this GPS is on in wherever I, you know, whatever terrain, wherever I am, as long as there's satellite signal, they can track my progress because of the spot transponder and this new PN6DW, incredible, made by Delorme. It is the coolest GPS I have ever seen. Check them out, Sportsman's Warehouse or Delorme.com. But backcountry, anywhere you are, coupled with the spot receiver that comes with it, you now have a way to stay in touch with your family, check in on your favorite social network page and have the comfort of knowing that you have an emergency, you hit that transponder, people know right where you are. Get one. Take just a brief time to cool off, throw some water on us, and then mid-afternoon we'll head back out and we'll send somebody up here, we'll decide later who. Somebody here, somebody up Blue Cove, and somebody up Wall Weaver.